How's everybody doing? This is Alfred Flores, CEO, President of New Age Electric. I'm making a short video on how to install and put new assemblies and items in Tribble's Acubit Classic Database Manager 15. So let's get started. Uh, reason for this is after you start doing these bids, you're going to start reaching into the hundreds. 300s even thousands of bids you've done and then what's going to happen is you have hundreds of temporary items assemblies and it might be time to think about installing these or even creating these uh, within the uh, database manager to make it a little bit easier on yourself and not have to create these temporary items or or whatnot so um, this is how we're gonna do it so let's go to uh, first off, you want to open this up. Uh, you can either search it down in the Windows bar, Database Manager 15, select the database, and then this screen will appear. Uh, very similar to Acubit, uh, just difference is you can delete stuff, remove stuff, uh, alter things. So if you haven't done this before, I highly suggest you hit Data Manager and then create a backup first and then start diving into this uh, once you do things it's permanently deleted there is no undo uh, button at all so let's get started uh, let's say we'll, we'll go back to the other tutorial where you got the pass and see more TV SS um, with the integral search protection for the 20 amp receptacle so let's create that one so we're in item database We'll go to wiring system devices and we'll stick it in straight played receptacles and we'll say they're duplex. Um, let's grab a typical 20 amp. We're going to highlight and copy all of this. It makes it a lot easier. Labor is probably going to stay the same. We'll hit Control V to paste this here. The only difference is now this is going to be a T. Whoops. TVSS. Um, I mean, you could change the money here if you wanted to. You could say they're 4,600 per hundred, um, 4,600 per hundred. So, and then what we could do now is give it that price code that we found in CED's database. So we can go back to this receptacle, grab the UPC code, Control C. paste it in there so now that's up to date so you just now created a new device in your database so now the next step is well I want to make it a kind of assembly this is not too hard as well so what you do is you hit the drop down box common assemblies we'll go to receptacles and let's expand this out a little bit Here's the different receptacles, assemblies they have. Um, let's just click any one for demonstration purposes. Um, what you can do the simplest way, um, let's say this is a decor style receptacle, so let's go with this one. We can actually copy this by selecting it, Eddie, edit, copy, and for demonstration purposes, we'll put it on the bottom. Just click in there, edit, paste. You want to manipulate description, select it, hit modify. Now we can go in here and manipulate this assembly. So first off, let's just say it's a 20 amp, 120 volt TVSS receptacle. There's the old one. Now we got navigate to the new one. Wiring system devices, receptacles duplex and here is the new one we created so we want to add that one in there you can double click it or hit add we want to delete the old one we know that it's a decor style plate that's required for it and if you want to make any other changes you can add and remove this as well you hit OK and there is your new assembly for the TVSS receptacle 
it is as simple as that there is not much behind this you have an updated price code um, you updated the assembly for it and once I close this everything we're doing is automatically saved you don't have to save anything once I exit out of here it, it doesn't matter so you can open up Acubid and your new assembly will now be here and you will not have to create temporary items for this any much longer uh, especially when you have a team of estimators that you have under you and six seven eight nine ten you know they will eventually thank you for finally doing this but if you don't know how to do it you do know once again Alfred Flores CEO president of New Age Electric any questions you need help leave comments shoot me an email thank you for watching